Question 7 of Introduction to Sequences, Multiple Choice. Next term of the sequence 1 over 2, minus 2 over 4, 3 over 8 is, that's an easy one, right? So what you can do is, you see it goes through positive, negative, positive, negative. So the next term is for sure negative, right? And then the number goes by 1, 2, 3, 4 on the numerator, 2, 4, 8, 16 in the denominator. So minus 4 over 16 is the right answer. Now it's such a simple question. Uh, I have given to you here as like takeaway marks. But you know at times the same question will be asked and the choice will be different for you. The choice minus 4 over 16 could be minus 1 over 4. Now then it may become difficult, you know, because we are looking for 4 over 16. So, so consider that kind of simplification also at times. And uh, uh, we could have the same sequence written like this also. We could have written this as 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2, 3 over 8, and this. Now think about this. I give you this sequence as this, half and then minus half and then 3 over 8 and then the next term and out of these choices I give you minus 1 over 4. Uh, then it may become difficult to choose the right choice, correct? So the idea here is to tell you that seemingly simple sequences can at times be simplified further and written like this which may make a problem difficult or the choices may be at times simplified so I could have minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 correct and something like uh, you know 1 over 3 plus and minus so that may make a problem kind of difficult right imagine if I give you this sequence and I give you, give you these choices Correct. then in that case your choice for the next number can be very difficult okay so try to think like that uh, because at times multiple choice questions can be tricky okay I hope you learn from that thank you